let's put that uh, romance in space into perspective because at seven minutes past ten Sunday morning, Beijing time, Shenzhou 10 and Tiangong 1 connected in space for a second time. This occasion through the manual docking procedure. The three crew members have re-entered the Tiangong 1 module and the manoeuvre required perfect precision not only from the machines but also the astronauts. CCTV reporter Ai Yang has more. It's Tiangong 1's second manual space kiss in more than 600 days of solitary space life. <laughs> Commander Nie Haisheng guides the spacecraft towards the target. With the help of his two colleagues, they completed a perfect manual docking to reunite Shenzhou 10 with Tiangong 1. Precision is vital. Both vessels are in the same orbit path and traveling at thousands of kilometers per hour. Anything more than the gentlest of touches would be disastrous, causing critical damage. Shenzhou 10 is China's fifth manned spacecraft. It marks the transition in China's decade-old manned space program from development into fully-fledged application. Its 15-day space journey is now nearing its end. The three temporary inhabitants of Tiangong 1 will soon lock the door and head home, leaving it alone in space once again. But perhaps the memories will linger inside. The small lab has hosted the first ever Chinese lesson from space, but is now coming towards the end of its designated two-year lifespan. In a few days, the three Chinese astronauts will come home to Earth. They will be welcomed by tens of millions of Chinese people watching their return on TV. China's space program has gone a long way within a short time, while the Shenzhou 10 mission has started a new chapter for the country's space exploration program. Ayang, CCTV, Beijing.